Welcome to Fret Not. My name is Rob. My name is Colton, and welcome to the High Gain series. This is a series of guitar reviews, and right now we're in the High Gain series. This will be number seven out of ten, and these are all on custom high end guitars. And before you yell at me, uh, every one of our guitars except this one was custom made. Um, maybe not to order, but custom made. Now this is a wood library from PRS. Um, they're tough to put your hands on and they're pricey. Not quite as pricey as the <laughs> private stock. Um, but yeah, so this guitar has a ton of features. We're going to go over that in a minute. But right now we want to talk about how does it feel? How does it play? Um, it just, it, it plays amazing because I can't say the other word. Right, right. Um, but yeah, it's, it's great. So, uh, we're going to get into the specs of this. We have something for you in the mix. This is the one guitar out of the 10 um, that really didn't, we didn't call a specific builder and say, hey, we want this. Uh, this was just something that came along, kind of a once in a lifetime deal. I was able to put my hands on it straight out of the factory. Um, and I just don't know if I've ever been happier with a guitar. It was extremely pricey, but once you touch it and play it, kind of, sort of, the price point goes back to the back. It's mm -hmm. not as important once you play it because there's something about this guitar that just makes it <clears throat> feel 10 times better than most guitars. I yep. don't care what they cost. So it's really crazy. Um, now, the good thing about this is this is the only guitar out of the 10 where they actually make a cheaper line that's actually kind of on par with these. So, mm -hmm. uh, obviously, you know who Paul Reed Smith is. If you're watching this channel, go check out their S2s, their SCs. All of them are really good quality. Mm -hmm. But this thing is a whole nother animal altogether. Yeah. Yeah. So, what we're going to do real quick is we're going to get into some specs. So, the body on this and the neck is Karina. Karina. So what that is, it's a type of mahogany. Um, it can sometimes be a little heavier than regular mahogany, mahogany, and it just has its own tonal quality. It's very it expensive, and you don't see it much without paying a ton of money, i.e. this guitar. Um, the fretboard on this, they did something different. That's African Blackwood. African Blackwood. It's and beautiful. And it just, yes, it just, it really plays great. Obviously, this is a 24. This is a custom 24 tin top from the Wood Library, PRS, that just got a, a weird opportunity straight out of the factory, a chance to buy this a little while back. And I, I just never have been happier with a purchase, even though it broke me at the time. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's a lot of money. Um, so this guitar has a... PRS bridge tremolo. I don't use it that much. It does work fine. I just don't use it. Uh, these are 15 uh, or yeah, 1558s or 1585 pickups. These are the reissues of the very first Paul Reed Smith that he released. They just a reissue of those pickups. They are amazing in every angle. They're not as quite as high gain. If you put them up against some of these other ones, they're more of a Les Paul sound. Yeah. Obviously, that's what they were trying to kind of achieve in that realm. Maybe not exactly. Um, but overall, the pickups are freaking amazing for mm -hmm. everything. They're just not quite super, super high gain for some of the other stuff that we do. Yeah, they just... Uh they just have kind of like a really warm sound. Yes. It's like a, a and a, don't yell at me, but it's like a really good 57, 58 Les Paul. <laughs> when you hear it on a real amp, it just has that warm body to it. That's mm -hmm. what this has. Um, this one does come with locking tuners. They're all PRS. Um, but it does have locking tuners, which is fantastic. Um, this, uh, this guitar, I believe, was available for a year. Don't hit me if I'm wrong. Maybe two. Um, this is something they call a blue whale, but they call a blue whale. They have a blue whale every year, but they're not all the same patterns. Some of them are flamed. They have different things they do. Right. Uh, but I just, like I said, um, we have a lot of high-end guitars in here, and I would put these high-end guitar builders, some of the ones we've shown you and the ones we're going to show you, the ones we got coming in, i put them up against anybody. Yeah. But when you look at guitars that come out of a factory – and then you look at that, and you look at the ones that are hand-built. They're like, how are they? I, to me, I'm like, how are they achieving a hand-built guitar right. on a line? But 
obviously, Paul Reed knows what he's doing. <laughs> he is no uh, stranger to that stuff. So what we're going to do right now, um, this one does have a five-way blade, coil splitting, everything you would expect expect out of on a, on a Paul Reed Smith. This one does have a tone control and I usually don't get that, but hey, I'm not touching this guitar. I ain't changing the pickups. It's just a work of art. I'm going to keep it forever, hopefully. But anyway, what we're going to do right now is we're going to shut up. We're going to let you hear something in the mix and then we'll be back and we'll give you our thoughts, the price, maybe kind of give you a preview of what's coming up next uh, on our next review and uh, maybe get into a little bit of the free stuff. It's beginning to kind of take shape. So you got to bear with us. All right, we'll be right back. Welcome back. Now you got a chance to hear some of it in the mix. Uh, one of the things I wanted to state, we're six in. We should have stated this from the sharp start, man. We should just pin a little video to the channel so it would help people with asking questions. Everything you hear on this channel, music wire wise, is ours. Mm -hmm. We don't have a book of songs pre done that we just take little clips out of. We do have the songs. Yeah. But what we're doing every week, just depending on the guitar, we're just kind of creating a drum track and just letting it flow off the guitar. Every week is something new, mm -hmm. regardless of what you hear. It's just a little one-off stuff we do to kind of get on track for you so you can hear the guitar. Yeah, give you a little demo, just something fresh we've created. Yep, and that's good, so we're not actually tracking in songs and stuff. So I hope that helps you guys, and I hope you can hear it enough without us putting the rest of the band involved in it. So... <laughs> I bought this guitar, it was about 4,600 bucks, but you gotta remember that was 2018. Mm -hmm. Although you can't buy this pattern in this color, you can go get this identical guitar right now for Paul Reed Smith, just in a different color or a different pattern, but you get all the same woods and everything, and it's about $6,800. Jeez. So, it's hard to say, when, when we talk about how we feel on price point, we're talking about what we paid for it, mm -hmm. not what it's went up to now. Inflation right. has almost doubled this thing in price. Um, paid $4,400 for this. I had to wait a couple days for it to get to me. Um, if I had to do this again 10 times in a row, he could have my money 10 times. <laughs> um, 
Not saying I'll never buy anything as nice as this, but there is a lot of science in how that guitar is built. Now, every one of these other guitars has science in them, obviously. Mm -hmm. But this is just a... Um, if somebody told you they had B.B. King's original Lucille, he played on stage for years, it was in 100% perfect condition, and you just put your hand on it and started playing it, you would imagine it to play like that. Right. That's the old adage, butter doesn't but. have enough connotation to it to right. describe <laughs> this guitar. So how do you feel about playing it? Um, I mean, without having to say it plays like butter, it's... It's, it plays really nice. So if, let's just saying that all the wheels worked out and you mm -hmm. had $4,400 and you sent it to Paul and that's what he sent you. I would be, I'd be really happy. I mean, I've, <laughs> I've always wanted to own a PRS. I love the way they play. I've always loved the way they play. They, uh, it's just been, I don't know, something's held me back a little bit and maybe it was the money. Maybe it's, uh, I, you know, I like Schechter maybe. Yeah. yeah who knows? But yeah. And they um, make a really good guitar. They do, and we may get around to some of those reviews too. Maybe, but uh, it's it, it's just a, it's a great guitar. So, even though now when you buy this, when I bought this, if you go buy one right now, you don't have any choices. It's whatever Paul threw in the wood library, how they made it, how they you know appointed it. That's mm -hmm. what you get. Um, so this has more of a less Paul sound. Yeah, a little bit. And we don't EQ anything. And I hope if you watch the channel enough, I hope you can go back and just listen to a clip of this mm -hmm. and then listen to a clip of the other guitars and you'll see the difference in that gain in those pickups. Yeah. But this is a screamer. It's a it's made for lead, rhythm, mm -hmm. strumming. It does not matter. This guitar touches all bases and it does every one of them really well. Yeah. So we I know you're watching this video today, and then you're like, well, uh, uh, Paul Reed's good. Wood libraries are $6,500, $6,800. Well, they weren't when I bought this. Yeah. They were only about 40, I think 46 or 48 altogether to get it here, shipping and the tax and everything. And um, I don't want to say nothing bad about any of the guitar, but I believe if it was a fire and I could only say one, I'd be grabbing that. I, I will just try to grab the rest of them. <laughs> I just don't see how you don't <laughs> grab that first. But now, don't make no mistake, that right card. It's a contender. Boy. <laughs> and it doesn't have this high gloss finish, but the Lacello, mm -hmm. I mean, they're they're just they're just different ways of looking at it, different price points, but they're all achieving a single goal. And that's just kind of a dream guitar to play. Yeah. That's kind of what we're all after. And like speaking of the of like the aesthetics, I I really do love this is quilted right yes yeah I, I love it it's beautiful and not only that i do i love the wood grain pattern on the back of it it for i know it's not but it just reminds me of bamboo sometimes how yes. it's got that little dotty stringy sort of pattern in it so they did i thought it was really weird and that's one of the reasons that made me buy this particular car I, I, this guitar I, it was blue and mm -hmm. i love blue but the fact that they made the neck out of the same thing as the back and they just kept it running and the way Paul Reed Smith's ability to make stuff, it looks like an extension of itself. Yeah. It looks like it's all one piece of wood. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? The way they do it. So yeah. uh, finish on it's just impeccable. Yes, I've had this since late 17, early 18. But to be honest with you guys, till about a year ago, it's probably been played six, seven times. And we haven't played it many more times than that in this year. Yeah, it has just been kind of in a case put aside. Um, work has kept me from doing a lot of playing. Uh, <laughs> we have to play now because we have so many stinking guitars. So, mm -hmm. um, if you don't, I know this is a long shot. Ain't nobody on the internet don't know who Paul Reed Smith is. Yeah, no. But if you haven't played one, even if it's an S two, even it, it doesn't matter. Even it's their entry level, you're going to notice a difference mm -hmm. between other built on a factory line guitar yeah other yeah other big brand entry level guitars yeah if you even if they're entry level and you go to their mid-range you go to their bolt-ons you go to their core line and then you have their wood library and then you have their private stock and mm -hmm. if you get up in private stock you're probably 15 16 grand for your guitar. they get pricey a little bit
And maybe so you do that as a keepsake, kind of invest for later. You don't mm -hmm. really go spend sixteen grand and jump around stage with it. Not too I mean, I guess often. you could, mm -hmm. but yeah. I don't maybe. trust no guitar tech. Do you? Not with, you know, a five-digit guitar. All right, right, <laughs> right. So I hope it gives you guys a little bit better understanding about this guitar. If you play rock, if you play heavy rock, um, these pickups are phenomenal for it. If you play more of a modern style, they have a couple of new versions this year to where they went with a little bit more hotter, higher gain pickup. Yeah. Uh, and then you can, those guitars, I mean, I see bands all the time and they're playing in drop C and they're playing on custom 24s, you know, because they just, the tuning, the stability, it, it's just at another level with, you know, Paul Reed Smith. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, and if you play them long enough and they endorse you, life is really good yeah. because they're like the big dogs. So, right. anything else you want to add about this? I I just really love the back of it. Like the butte, <laughs> like it's the front is beautiful, sure, but the the back, I just love that that wood grain. I mean, it's I just, gorgeous. I just wanted to bring that up again. <laughs> All right. Listen, guys, we've wasted enough of your time. This is episode seven. So that means we got three more. Mm -hmm. And we've already kind of gave you a hint up through eight. So if you've been watching the channel, you know after this that seven string multi scale Ormsby is coming up. Oh, yeah. So um, stay tuned to the channel. We're getting really close. As soon as we kind of get out of this high gain, I've already kind of got some plans together. We're going to we're gonna start a new series. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet, but mm. you're going to like it. Yep. Along this same genre of music, uh, we're going to start a new series. And so on that series, hopefully by that time, we're going to have enough uh, subscribers and patrons watching us <laughs> that we can afford to give away some guitars. I mean, yep. that's what I want to do. Yep. If I have to give you gear, I will. But if we get enough people on here, we're going to give away guitars. Yeah. Everybody likes a free guitar. So here's the deal. You know what to do. Like our videos. Subscribe. Don't hurt you. Click the stinking button. And share the videos. Mm -hmm. It makes it a lot easier. Yeah. The more people get on here, the quicker we're going to start giving stuff away. So for now, and until next time. Stay tuned.